Welcome to Lifestyle with D. Now, taking care of your skin is very essential, especially in this day and age where we're exposed to so much, um, all kinds of pollution, and they affect our skin. And also, the diet that we take in every day can reflect on our skin. So, we really need to take care of our skin. And today, um, we are joined by a skin expert, that is Perry Simbuthia, who will be telling us on how to achieve this. So. Thank you so much, Paris, for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, we're so eager to hear what you have to tell us on our skin. Sure. Yes. I'm and, happy. Um, before we start, or we even go on to what Timeless Medical Spa is, who is Paris Boothia? Oh, wow. Well, Paris Boothia. It's a 42-year-old uh -huh. <laughs> um, who's also Kenyan, but left Kenya when she was 18 to wow. pursue further studies in Yuki. Okay. And that's where I started first uh, with my medical field where I did my nursing and then um, moved to U.S. Mm -hmm. And then eventually to Canada where I went back to medical school and did medical aesthetics. And I'm very passionate about skin. Yes. And um, really, um, I like to call myself health and beauty expert because those um, two, you can never separate the oh both. Yeah, true, yeah. True. So yeah, uh, Paris Budia is the CEO and founder of Timeless Medical Spa Kenya. Uh, which is, uh, I like to call it, it's like a bridge between the dermatologist's office and the regular spa. Okay. Because a lot of people don't understand what is a medical spa. The medical spa, spa yeah. Yes. They're all used to just a spa. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. All right, so what what is Timeless Medical Spa all about? Timeless Medical Spa, it's uh, where you can come for any skin issues that you have mm -hmm. that really, they're not so serious that you need to go to a dermatologist and they cannot be treated in a regular spa. Yes. For example, we have a lot of people in Kenya being a tropical country suffering from hyperpigmentation, from sun damage, mm -hmm. free radicals in the air, the food we eat can exactly. also damage the skin. Yes. And a lot of people don't know how to take care of their skin. And so they go to a regular spa. The regular spa don't understand the skin that much. Yes. So they don't know what to do. And again, they find it's very expensive to go to dermatologists or they think it's not serious enough yeah. to go there. Yes. So we've come as a bridge where anybody can come into a spa, it's affordable, yeah. from the children from the age of 10, we treat from the children from the age of 10 all the way to old people. There's nobody who cannot come to Timeless Medical Spa and be treated. And that's how it came to be. I was very passionate. I came from Canada and I visited um, Mombasa mm -hmm. and my skin was breaking out big time uh -huh. and I was looking for somewhere to go for treatment and I couldn't find nowhere okay. there was only one dermatologist and you would have to drive to Mombasa town and I was all the way in Marindi oh my goodness exactly <laughs> so yeah. then I was like now how can I take care of this and I mean, how yes. can I take care of this and there was no way so mm -hmm. that made me think it really inspired you it to inspired to start, me yeah. to go back in Canada and yes. plan to move back here ah. and start timeless medical spa that's exactly how it was born okay. because I saw the need for it a lot of people need it and yeah. um, a lot of people also need education I realize information is power oh yes it is yeah. since we open here I realize a lot of Kenyan didn't even know that it's important to use sunscreen yes. before you step out 15 minutes to have an hour before not just using it but you need to actually need to use it to. to know how to do it yeah. A lot of people did not know how to deal with things like skin tag. They thought if you have them, you're doomed to keep them till you die. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, <laughs> when they get hyperpigmentation, they thought that's it. Yes. There's nothing that can be done to collect that. Yeah. So that's how Timeless Medical Spa was born, yeah. because we really are passionate about yeah. changing the lives of Kenyans and educating Kenyans how to eat well. I don't know whether you've noticed, Kenya, we are also becoming just like American. We're yeah, becoming you know, obese. All the, the fast food restaurants are coming. Thank here. you. Yeah. So we, we are not cooking healthy food yeah. anymore. We're, we're eating whatever that. on the go. Yes. And so therefore, that's where we come in. So we can give people the information they need, yes. equip them, so they know how to take care of their skin and get old grace free. Yes. Yeah. And um, when, when did you start? Um, Timeless Medical Spa. Timeless Medical Spa started last year, 2015, okay. in July. So it will be one year this year, wow, July. Okay. So we'll be celebrating. <laughs> we've been fighting you when we celebrate. How about <laughs> yes, that? Yes, yes, I shall be here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so you have had many people come here, and um, probably you can tell us uh, who are your clientele. Is it women, men? 
Uh, funny enough, my mm -hmm. clientele, like I stated earlier, it's from 10 year old all the way, but to my surprise, yeah, we've, we've had more. a lot of men wow. as my client. I'll tell you why. Yeah. Uh, we have a laser that treat ingrown hair for men. A lot of mm -hmm. men suffer from that and okay. they do not know where to go, what to do. So normally they would go to their normal barber shop. Uh -huh. And the barber shop would perhaps use tweezer or you know oh, yeah, to remove yes, it, yes. and it's very painful. So because now they know that we we are treating ingrown hair, we yes. find that a lot of them are visiting our spa, and even women. Yeah. Now before we even get to what um, they come to treat, what what services is it that you offer here? We offer a lot of things. Yeah. Um, like for example, microdermabrasion. What is microdermabrasion? It is a machine that uses suction, and it kind of uh, exfoliates the skin from the top layer, the epidermis to the dermis level, mm -hmm. uh, and it removes like uh, dead skin and clog your pores, mm -hmm. the blackhead, the white head, the mm -hmm. sun damage. You know, you can never do that with a soap or scrub or mask. So if you're really looking for that deep cleansing, microdermabrasion is the way to go. Is it, so. is it like a, a one day thing or it's a whole process? It's a whole process, but it, um, uh, how I say is that if you've never done it before, it's good to do six treatment. Okay. Uh, scheduled on every two weeks or every three weeks and eventually you start doing something we call maintenance which you do once a month if you're over 40 if you're under 40 you can do it once every three months just okay. to remove the you know the dead skin yeah. and also it help if you're over 40 it is stimulate your fiber breast increasing your collagen level and making you look youthful pretty much mimicking youth for you yeah. they just telling the cell to behave as if you're young yeah. So that's one of the treatments that I find we are doing a lot in okay. our spa. Okay. And like I said earlier alone, also the laser treatment, laser hair removal. Yeah. yeah. yeah we Does also it remove scars as well? Yeah, the laser machine we have, yes, yes. can also treat scars. Mm -hmm. If the scars are not mm -hmm. deeply rooted, it all depends with what caused the scar, oh, yeah, how yeah. long has it been there, then we can treat that too in our spa. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so there's laser, there's um, microdermabrasion, there yeah. is a light therapy, there is chemical peel, herbal peel. Uh, we, we do every kind of oxygen spray, mm -hmm. so famous called Madonna oxygen spray. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we do that if you're just feeling tired or you have a big wedding coming yeah. and you want to have that vibrant, well relaxed skin. Yes. Medical spa is the way to go. Wow. You come, we spray it three days before your wedding, and your wedding day you are looking fabulous. Wow. Yeah. So, do you do um, other things that, um, do you offer other services that other normal spas, if I may say? We do. Um, that due have. to, yeah, due to your customer asking, can we be able to also do massage here? And yes. We also do detox, food spa uh -huh. detox, which I think a lot of people needed because considering we have a lot of free radicals in the air and stuff yes, like that. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Um, so many people um, suffer from skin problems and some of them are shy of speaking it out or they don't know who to tell or they don't know what to do about it and sometimes they seek for temporary solutions. Um, what would you tell such people? Yeah, I'm glad you asked that question because yeah. um, since we open, we realize that we're dealing with a lot of teenagers mm -hmm. who are really suffering from severe acne yes. uh, due to hormonal change. They're going through that period. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And it's so sad that we've had some children that have been brought to me that have refused to go to school because they said when they go to school all they think is that all people can see is oh their gosh, acne yeah. and it was so sad and I'm very passionate about that as a matter of fact I'm glad you asked that because I'm all about giving back to the community or paying it forward if you want to put it that way yes, yes, and yeah. we have like Monday it's our student day where we give 20% off in all our services yes. uh, to student and on our product also we give 5% to the student and um, Yes, it's true. A lot of people are suffering and they don't know where to go and they feel judged. Or also we have people who cannot afford the treatment and exactly. therefore they go and start cooking their own thing, if you yes. may put it that yeah. way, and it gets worse. We've had people who've come with skin burn that they use something that went, the pH level went wrong because mm -hmm. they were doing it at home. Oh my gosh. A homemade product. Yes, yes, yes. And now your skin even gets ruined more. 
and before you can get it back to normal, it will cost you a lot of money and a lot of heartache because yeah. you might not even achieve it back. Yes. So yeah, we, we do have a lot of people that are suffering and that's why we're here because honestly, more than just being a skin specialist, we are also your friend, we are your counselor. It's a place you come and feel safe. You can ask any question. Uh, before actually we touch your skin, we normally do a consultation and we've made our consultation very cheap because yes. I want everybody to be able to afford. So believe it or not, our consultation is only 500 shillings. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's we, okay compared to... Com exactly, compared, compared, compared to, to what places. exactly. Yeah. Because we want everybody to be able to come seek for help, yes? yes? If I can just give you the right advice, the right product to use, or refer you to yes. the right person to treat your skin, if I can do it, yes. then I feel, you know, I'm helping you. Yeah. So please never hesitate to look for help because yeah, help yeah. is there. You just yes. have to know where to find it. Exactly. So come to our medical spa, go to any other medical spa before you even touch any product because yeah. some people are just going to the chemist. Chemist and, and, and also the um, home remedies. Home um, remedies. I know sometimes we are advised to, you know, just use those simple products but yes. um, at home. But shouldn't they get information on how you to should, use them as well? You should, because yeah. I think, okay, internet is good, yes. but internet is also messing a lot of people up because we are all Googling uh, how to treat acne, how to treat hyperpigmentation, yes. how to, you know, to avoid, you know, age spot, how, you know, all these things. Yeah. And then we go home and try to do this thing. And if you really don't balance it the way it's supposed to, you could find yourself in big trouble. Yeah. So it's good. Information is power. But before you really explore that loud, I would say come to a medical spa, have your skin evaluated. Yeah. We have machines. Skin types. Exactly. We have a yeah. machine that will put your skin in there mm -hmm. and would you know, you and I will be able to see what's going on inside your skin yes. and we will be able to point it A, B, C, D and this is your skin type and based on your skin type you can now use A, B, C, D. Yeah. So it's very important to get that before you use anything. Yes. Yeah. And so um, since you started this, you have uh, probably done a lot of procedures for people. Yes. Has there any procedure that has ever gone wrong. <laughs> I'm glad you asked that. Of course. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what happened. Yes. Uh -huh. Now one client came to my spa uh -huh. and I asked are you using any of this product? Yes. And she was no. Are you using Latine? No. Are you using Acutin? No. Nothing. Are you using Hydroquinone? No. None of the above. Mm -hmm. I'm like you're very sure. Yeah. I could see you know little telltale sign yeah, here and yeah. there but mm -hmm. then I was like okay client is always right so long as they sign the consent form I can go ahead and do the treatment yeah. so when I started the chemical peel because we were doing chemical peel to remove the top layer of the skin so to refill the beautiful skin inside uh, yes. of course there was reaction and immediately I knew she we call lying. it frosting her skin yes. went all white and oh so gosh. we knew she had used something that yes. she shouldn't yes. so of course I had to stop the treatment and of course she came clean she said i'm so sorry oh my gosh. but i did not want to so it happened yeah so my request would be for people who are watching yeah. kindly tell your skin specialist the truth because some chemicals cannot mix with others yes and you might end up even damaging your skin for just not telling the truth yes. yeah. so that has happened and we hope oh. it doesn't happen again i hope so too yeah. that can be really scary <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, so um, people should be aware, really. People should be aware of that and always yeah. tell the truth. Yes. And so then we know how to treat you going forward. Because now, mm. well, at least she accepted that she was wrong. Yes. And we sorted, and it took us three months to rectify her skin from there. Oh, yeah. Um, so if someone has all that, it has to, you have to detox everything out. Exactly. Yes. Before you come to a medical spa or after you've come, we've done the skin analysis. That's why we always do that. Yes. to determine whichever treatment we're going to customize for you. And therefore, if you're truthful during that time, I'll tell you, okay, stop using Latine, stop using all these things yes. from and today. Now, yes. yes, come back in a month's time, and therefore now we can start treatment in our medical spa. All right. So it's very important to always tell your skin specialist the product you're using. Because sometimes, I don't blame people, you don't yeah. know the ingredients. Yes. So yeah. you just went to a pharmacy or you went to your local shop and you bought a product. Yes but you don't know you're the ingredients sure. in it. True. So it's also very important to bring the product you're using and show to the skin specialist that this is what I'm using for now so that you can advise me going forward. That's very important. Okay. Yeah. You talked about um, food 
um, detox? Was it food detox? Food detox. Yes. Uh, what food does it involve? How do you guys do it here? Uh, here's the thing. Yes. So when you come to our medical spa now, there's a machine we have, it's a food spa. We will attach something into your hands that's gonna read your pulse and it's gonna send signals into your body and it's gonna then register where, where you have the most accumulated toxin. That okay. could be your river if you drink a lot of alcohol, could be your kidney, yeah. it could be your gallbladder. Yeah. So we wanna take a little bit of that out. out so yeah. what we're doing, we're not really treating you, we just minusing a little bit of those toxins yeah, that you have yeah. in your body and a lot of people tell us they sleep better after that yes. they feel better it's they, true. and yeah. they also help with the weight management exactly because now everything is learning the way it should yeah. so it helps i think i would advise everybody to do a body detox once a month once oh once a month at least once a month it's, for how it's long? a very cheap treatment we offer it's oh, a 2000 okay. treatment okay. like i said in timeless medical spa we are making the treatment really affordable yes yes uh so at least we advise for people over the age of 20 try and do it once a month yes yeah. is it is it like one one day or a week yeah it's a half an hour treatment oh okay it's a half an hour okay. you come we do it for half an hour and you go home feeling better nice yeah okay i, I think it's better than uh, you know taking the 10 days off uh, to, to det detox yeah. or, whatever, know, works but whatever works for you but whatever but if you're me. looking for yeah. something quicker and effective come to us by to have an hour treatment and you feel better all right yeah okay we'll take a short break but when we come back we'll be talking about um of course other procedures that you we need to get into detail okay. on and um yeah we'll be right back if you have any feedback or questions kindly send them on our sms sign two zero zero five eight we'll be right back All right, welcome back to Lifestyle with Dina. We're talking about skin care with Timeless Medical Spa. And skin expert Paris Mbuthia is telling us more about how we should take care of our skin and how important it is for us to, you know, get yourself checked, um, your skin checked rather, and so that you can have glowing skin. And so we'll continue with um, the procedures that you, you um, do on people. And we were talking about um, like micro Dermabrasion. Dermabrasion. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And um, can you tell us more on what in involves? Okay. Yeah. And My what usually is the problem before? Oh, okay. Yeah. Microdermabrasion is a beautiful machine that can treat a lot of skin issues. Yes. For example, just to name a few, sign of aging, if mm -hmm. you have wrinkles that are not deeply rooted, it can eliminate that or minimize that. It can also minimize the, exp you know, the enlarged pores due to a lot of people like if you have oily skin yes. most of the time you'll find that your pores as you're getting older they're getting enlarged so microdermabrasion can defast that and make your pores look tighter where again you look smoother right also it can also be used to treat acne scars mm -hmm. after acne you're left with black spot it can also be used to treat that it can also be used to treat hyperpigmentation a lot of time you get hyperpigmentation either because of sun damage, weather change. You know, a lot of things can create yes. hyperpigmentation. Yeah. Also, as we age, the skin change, yes? Every five years, just as your metabolism slows down, your skin texture also change. So, microdermabrasion is a treatment that helps go there and stimulate the protein in the skin, which is collagen, increase it yeah. so that now you're looking youthful again. So basically, it's like an exercise for the face. I like to say it that way. Ah. We normally go to gym and exercise our body, yes. but how do you exercise your face? Exactly. So you might yeah. be looking toned, yes. you know, you have six pack, <laughs> but the face <laughs> is perhaps not, else. you know, yeah. it's not mashing up. Yes. So microdermabrasion is the way to make sure, if I can put it in the simplest way, everybody can understand yeah it's like the way of exercising your face skin yes because when you come here and we do microdermabrasion mm -hmm. your face will look smooth it will look tight youthful yeah. and radiant okay. so it's a treatment that can be done for different reasons yeah. you could have a perfect skin you can still do microdermabrasion for maintenance you have uh, issues with skin we yes. can do for treatment so it's yeah. a really good treatment used properly yeah yeah that goes a long way 
Okay. How much does it cost me to do that? Uh, normally for a treatment that takes about 45 minutes, it's 7,000 in our spa. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much it's, you know, it's charged out there. Yeah. Uh, but for our spa, it's 7,000. And when you come, you leave with, the, we'll actually show you what we removed of your skin. Because it has a filter that collects yes. all that we remove from your skin. Wow. So you will see the sort immediately. Yeah. So that's what I like about the treatment. It's not something you wait tomorrow to see the sort immediately. Okay. Yeah. Now, throughout this time, um, the one year, almost one year, have you? What are some of the challenges that you have probably gone through in, in our time? spa? Yes. Um, a lot of challenges is people lack of knowledge, lack of knowledge, lack of know-how. Yeah. So when they come in and you try to explain the treatment, a lot of people feel like uh, they will question you. You mm -hmm. know where. First of all, the question I always hear, where are you trained? Then I'll explain mm, where I'm trained. Yeah. The next thing, but without you are Asian. That's another thing that I'm, you know, every time <laughs> people come, they're almost disappointed that I'm a Kenyan black oh my person. Gosh. <laughs> because when they come to our spa and they were told, oh, our skin specialist is from Canada, and they always assume. And yes. I think it's because before I came on board, a lot of medical spa are owned by Asian Asians, community yes, in Kenya. Actually, yeah, yeah. So it's almost like that's the challenge I'm facing now. Yes. When people come in my spa, it's like, are you sure you, you're you trained know? to do this? Do yeah. you know what you're yes. doing? Where are you? you know, so that's, those are the challenges. And it's about high time as Kenyans, we yeah. appreciate that our own can also go out there oh, and get definitely. trained and do yeah. anything we put our mind yeah. to do. Yeah. And we come back and give back to our community. We need to believe in ourselves. Exactly. <laughs> because I think we really um, put out the word for the Asians. Exactly. We really believe in we them. We believe in, in them. And, and uh, we, we don't believe that um, our own can go out there and get the training yeah. and do the same job. So yes. all I can tell people is give us a trial. Come and you know, experience our services and then judge for yourself. Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, is there any advice that you want to give, um, you know, someone who is quietly or, you know, they're suffering with um, pimples, you know, like, yeah. and it's terrible, you know, you have to wake up every day and look at yourself and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to work like this. So what would you tell someone um, like that? Seek help, number yeah. one. I've been that girl. Like I said earlier on, that's how I went back to medical aesthetic school yes. because my skin I was suffering hormonal yeah. change hormonal imbalance uh, and my skin was really at one point very very bad with acne and so therefore you try everything and the more you try the more you get frustrated and the more you damage your skin yeah. so my advice to that person is honestly do not go into your local shop to buy anything go to a dermatologist go to a skin specialist a medical spa always the best uh, or a dermatologist office Please get your skin evaluated because skin, acne, or even not just acne, not everybody with pimple have acne. Yes, I think that's another actually, important yes. thing for people to know yeah. because yeah. people assume, oh, because I have pimple, I have acne. Not every pimple is acne. Yes. Some things is just hormonal imbalance. Sometimes it's diet. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it's change of weather. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a lot of things that contribute to your skin breaking. Yes. So please don't always assume that you have acne and go buying acne remedies. Oh, I have acne. Can I have something for acne? No. You truly need to go see a specialist. Yes. Get to know for sure what is causing your breakout and start from there to treat it. Because we've had some people who've come here and just by me advising them to go change their diet, their breakout stop. They stop. You know what I mean? Yes. So do ask for help. Please do come in our spa, go visit any other medical spa, get the right information, get the right product, and stay away from chemicals. Because yes. those are the ones that sometimes can react in your skin and you end up getting far and far away from your goal. Um, can you talk about the, you know, um, cheap products that people use, um, the importance of them not using them because some of them I think they're the ones that cause um, really bad skin. Yeah. yeah. Like I mentioned a little area, you know, it's very important to read the ingredients on the things ah. that you go buy because yeah. um, number one, there are some things that are not supposed to work together and some people will go mix this and that and that and so uh, therefore this is reacting to this and you end up having with a skin breakout. Yes. Yeah. So very important when you go into your local shops to buy something. Ask the person who's selling it to you. Number one, 
is this for my skin type? So number one, you should start there. Know your skin type. Yes. Then after you've known your skin type, your age, because different product for different age group, right? Different product for different skin type. Yes. Different product for different skin color. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So it's very important to know your skin type before you buy any product. Yeah. Yeah. And these days there are so many ways of knowing your skin, you know? So yes. I think almost every spa, I would assume, they, they, they now are able that. to tell you what's yes. your skin. So please just visit any spa, get to know your skin type. Number two, get to know the product ingredients. Don't just get, you know, blinded by all it's cheap or it's expensive. Sometimes not all expensive products are good either. Yes, so true. very important to know the product ingredients before you use it on your skin. For example, if somebody had dry skin, that person cannot use the same ingredient for an oily for skin because they want to hydrate their skin. Yeah. And an oily skin want to take away the oil the and oil. balance the oil. Again, there's a myth that oily skin should not use oils. That's mm. a myth. Okay. Because again, when you take all the oils off, now you're then telling you your oil glands, produce more oil, produce more oil, produce wow. more. Okay. So, <laughs> very important yeah. to know again, which is good oil for my skin, yes. which is not so good for me. For yeah. example, coconut oil would be a good oil for somebody with dry skin. Yes. It wouldn't be a very good oil for somebody with oily skin. Algan oil is good for all skin type okay. because it does not clog the pores. It's very light. Ah. And it's packed up with vitamin E yes. and omega-6 and 3, which hydrate the skin and also protect a little bit from sun damage. So very important to know your oils, know which ones are for what skin and what skin type are you. Yeah. So when you're bu buying out your product, you make sure you're getting the right product for you. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, thank you so much. <laughs> I think we'll, we'll be going to the microdermabrasion um, room and we'll see more of how uh, what it entails. Okay. Um, I'll be happy yeah. to do so. Yes. And we'll be right back. Thank you very much. So we've seen the microdermabrasion process and what it all entails and we thank um, Paris Mbutia who is a skin e expert with Timeless Medical Spa for all the information that she has given us. So if you have any feedback or questions for her, kindly send them on our SMS line 20058 and my Twitter handle at Didi Myers. Thank you for watching. <laughs>